day 9 LC test oscillator. This is a very old circuit, uh, you've probably seen it yourself in numerous places. The first time I saw it was actually made using vacuum tubes. But it's a uh, it's very simple, two JFETs in a uh, differential amplifier set up to, um, to build an oscillator that uh, picks off a small amount of RF from one of the drain circuits and amplifies it through the gate of the other so that the whole thing oscillates with very uh, very little dependence on this capacitance on the actual tuned circuit frequency so if you put a, uh, a variable capacitor here and uh, an inductor and then you can uh, measure the frequency of the circuit say through a, a, um, a frequency counter I've put a, a buffer on it here to drive my frequency counter then uh, you can get a reasonable idea of the inductance and it can also be very useful just as a, a signal source basically it's an oscillator it can tune from LF pretty much all the way up to um, you know, medium to high VHF. So it's a super useful circuit, takes uh, three JFETs, well, you know, only, you really only need two, but it's nice to have the buffer. You can also um, even pick off some of the signal and drive a meter and it becomes a dip meter as well, or you can measure the uh, the gate current. Or the uh, you could use a meter here, there's, there's a number of different variations on this simple theme of a circuit. But uh, this is the this is how I implemented it tonight, and uh, it's already proved itself to be quite useful. Anyway, here's the implementation. It's uh, yet another circuit sitting on top of a nine volt battery. As you notice, that's a bit of a theme of mine. Uh, it works out quite well. It's tiny. Uh, it takes up hardly any room on the board. The board's mostly empty. As you can see, I've added a connector there where I can plug it into my frequency counter, which it is currently plugged in. Two, as you can see, it's oscillating around. 33.6 megahertz and quite stably too that's four digits down so it's you know, kilohertz stability alrighty this is the uh, the signal um, the you know, RF detector that we built in an earlier video see it's oscillating quite well um, in the background is a uh, cobweb coil that I made today. It's, um, well, it'll probably feature in, a, in another video. I was playing with it today and I'm not completely happy with the circuit that I built with it yet. There's a number of different things we could do with it. We could do a crystal set, we could do um, medium wave or long wave receiver. It's about uh, 450 microhenries and it has a particularly good Q. It's wound with Litz wire. I wrote some postscript to generate the, um, the pattern that I then cut out of cardboard for it. Uh, it's an interesting project in itself, and yeah, it'll probably f feature in another video later. Alrighty, this will be a quick one. Um, super simple circuit for today, It's uh, and, and a useful one. We, we may need it for other projects, uh, particularly RF-related ones. Again, you can calibrate the dial, like with all of these kind of projects, to give you a rough idea of, uh, of what... Well, you could at least you could calibrate it rather than capacitance, so that you could do the math manually and you know pretty much you know how much capacitance you've got across the LC circuit or you could uh, you calculate it for with a specific inductor for frequencies so uh, maybe you come up with a decal for a specific inductor that you can just clip onto the thing yeah could be useful anyway it's a general purpose signal generator if you don't happen to have an RF signal generator like that one up there it's uh, pretty much yeah, exactly the same kind of uh, unit. It doesn't have a reduction drive and doesn't have variable output, but those are simple things that you could add yourself. You could switch uh, several inductors, and um, you could add a leveling circuit if you wanted to have a stable out output amplitude. I mean that 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 unit there, even though it's a commercial one, doesn't. It's pretty low end. It has an amplitude modulator, adds a one kilohertz tone, and it's got a few other bells and whistles, but it doesn't have amplitude stability or anything like that. So it's not terribly much better than something you might build like this with just a couple of JFETs. Alrighty, till tomorrow. Bye.